All right, so fresh out of high school, you know, and um, I encountered a a pastor who had a prophetic um, gift, and I never knew what that meant. And I was just, I would go to these um, noonday prayer services with my mom, and this pastor out of the blue just called me to the front. And this time, around this time in my life, I was doing uh, secular rap, doing rap battles, stuff like that. And um, I was, my mom just wanted me to go to church with her on these noon days things. And um, I was at this community college. It was my first year. And I pretty much got like straight F's. And um, so the, the pastor called me up and he just began to pray for me. And he was like, like he never ever talked to me or anything. And he was like, you know, something about you have a, a musical background. And and then he, you know, and I was like, this dude don't even know me. He knows that I rap. And then he, as he got my attention, he just started telling me other things that's been happening in my life that I wasn't telling nobody. Like he was telling me how I, I've been really dancing in flames, meaning I've been in, in all of this sin with all of these women. And he was like, and the Lord has kept you because, you know, when you live a life with, uh, you know, having different partners or whatever, you have all these pregnancy scares, disease scares and all that. And he was just telling me how the Lord has really shielded me. And then he told me, he said, the Lord is going to open doors to educate you about the music side. I mean, the business side of music. And at that time in Jacksonville, it was no, in, nothing going on with uh, music business or anything like that so the weird part is there is a private school in Jacksonville they just had a, a opening for a whole music business curriculum and I went to apply knowing I just flunked out of a community college right and but I believed God so I applied and it was like yo you don't have any SATs you don't have any ACTs, your grades are trash. You're not supposed to be here. This is a private school. And me believing God, I just ain't accept no. So I was like, well, who's over you? And I went up the chain till I got to this guy. I never forget his name. His name was Jeffrey Hammer. And I told him, I said, hey, I want to get into the school. I want to take this court, these courses because I have a, a strong uh liking of the music business and i want to learn this stuff and he was like he told me the same thing i said i understand that everybody before you told me that but i really need to be in the school and i i just believe god was gonna move some things around so he was like this is what you do i want you to write me a letter um so i can present it to our board and we'll review it and see if you can get in and me telling you in the beginning that I flunked out of college means my written communication wasn't that wonderful. So I was working a, a job and this lady who sat next to me, um, I was working for a credit card company. Her degree was in communication. So I wrote it, I let her see it and I worked maybe like two days on it and she balled it up in my face and I was like, do you know how long I've been working on that? And she was like, no, uh, you do X, Y, Z, and I'll uh, write it for you. So she wrote it, and I emailed it to the administration guy. And he called me five minutes later and said, hey, I'm not taking it to the board. You're in. And me getting into Jacksonville University, which is a private school, and, and when I went through all the courses, I left there with a 4.0. Because I just, you know, I believe God. And then um, going to Nashville at Belmont University was even harder. 
and it seemed like it was the same thing but before i went to to nashville i went back to jacksonville university just to thank this guy who gave me that yes and the strangest thing happened when i went to the administration office and i said hey I want, i'm here to see uh jeffrey hammer he uh i really want to tell him thank you and there's like nobody here works nobody here by that name works here and i was like well maybe after these semesters and there's like nobody here has never worked here named that and i just was like okay y'all i'm th i'm looking around to see if there's like prank cameras and stuff but it wasn't and i checked i asked the other people they was like this guy never existed here so how i got into belmont university how i got into jacksonville university was this guy who didn't exist i think it was an angel we can debate all day but you can't i can't prove it you can't disprove it so that's how it happened in um god did something great <laughs>